Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit off par than my usual. Normally I write a script, then record it, and break it up into chunks, and that's how I portray my videos. But I haven't done something in a long time where I just talk about ideas in my head, and then put some gameplay in the background to match it. Which is exactly what I'm doing here. Today I'm going to be talking about the controversial topic of video game violence, whether it should be allowed, and is it problematic. Now, obviously, I do have a bias because I play violent video games rather a lot, and I do enjoy them. But, I'm going to try and take that out when talking about the subject matter, because I think it's one of those things that, if you just take yourself out of the equation and look at it from a non-biased eye, you can get a different view on it and form unique opinions. So, this is not meant to be a clear-cut yes or no answer, because there really is none to this question. But, this is simply there so I can explain my thoughts, and maybe give you guys a little bit more insight to some ideas that you might not have known you had. Or maybe you did. Maybe you don't even need to watch this video. But please do. So before we dive into this, I want to talk about the background. Violence as a medium has been in our society since the Roman age. Probably even before that, but let's, let's stick with the Romans. The Colosseum was a huge massive event that tons and tons of people went to watch. And ever since, we just like violence. Whether it be in novels, movies, TV shows, or novels, it is present. Whether it's to progress the plot, appeal to our savage nature, or just to be cool. We, we like it, that's what we do as a society. Now, with video games, it is a tad bit different because you're no longer just watching something occur, but rather you're taking action to make it occur. Think of it like you're killing someone with a robot. You press the button, and in that action it kills, or at least simulates, the effect of a murder or attack, or blow, or some, some sort of synonym that you could put in there. Now, obviously, that raises a few eyebrows. One, because does it promote this as a useful strategy that we should do in real life? Two. Is it ethical do, for people to pretend to be murdering in real life? And three, is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. It's absolutely, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Trust me, it's fun. So obviously there are two very prominent sides to this issue. The first one being that we should allow violence in video games, which I'm, I'm, I'm on. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm on that side. And the other side says that we should limit or completely remove violence in video games. Now, personally, I think being a nice middle ground would be perfect, but unfortunately we're humans and we're not. So... That's what we gotta face. Hi. Now, the first point for those that are against video game violence is that it teaches kids to mimic it. Now, when you think about kids mimicking stuff, it does bring up an interesting point, because kids are stupid as shit and do stuff like this. You know, monkey see monkey do. Like if they see a cartoon where a bunny rabbit sucks off a stick of dynamite, next thing you know, they're sucking daddy's cop. I remember when I was young, I actually did a front flip onto a coffee table and ended up spraining my spine because I watched The Amazing Spider-Man. So it, it's just a thing they do. Kids are dumb, that's what happens. They see something, they do it. Now, with video games, it's even more so because you actually do it. So clearly video game violence- Oh, yeah. Age restrictions. Okay, good, good job. Fixed. That's- <laughs> that problem's resolved. On to the next one. The next argument against video game violence actually does have some substance to stand on, unlike the previous talking point. This of course refers to the belief that we are exposed to more gruesome and horrific scenes, and we slowly come to expect it and get numbed down to the idea of it. Now this isn't inherently a bad idea if you ask me, because society has always been on this perpetual downfall if you compare it to the ages of past, but that's a whole other thing, that's a whole other thing. Society's on a downfall man, we peaked in the 80s man. Why do I think this? Let's take an example from video games. Back in the 80s and 90s, there would be huge controversy over games that showed blood, like Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat, albeit pixelated and not very intense by today's standard. But that's just it, by today's standard. Nowadays, you got games like Medal of Honor, which is bad and garbage and a horrible example, and I don't know why I said that. But you have more better games like Gods of War, that are way better <laughs> examples. <laughs> I have no idea why I said Medal of Honor. 
Now, Gods of War is a very gruesome game, and yes, it can be this way because of the games from the past that allowed it to be like this, because as a society, we've come to accept it, and accept that there's going to be this type level of violence, which then the next game pushes, and that becomes the new standard. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, I don't think this is a massive problem, because as a society, this is how we evolve. This is how we go into the next stage of life. Albeit generally for the worst, but still progress nonetheless. Let me know what you guys think about this one, because I think this side of the argument actually can have some legs to stand on. Process where we connect a charged object to the Earth. Now, onto the opposing side, which believes that violence should be in video games. Or at least is could be in video games if the developers want to include it. Now, one reason for the inclusion of violence in video games is simply because it's human nature. It's in our blood. We evolved from the apes, which bashed things with rocks to get their brains to eat, to now shooting things in the head to get their brains to eat. There is still a piece of us that is that tiny little bit animalistic, and it's fun to purge out on that. It's fun to just allow the brutality of nature to just take its course. Albeit not in real life, because that's a little bit scary. But in a virtual world, it's totally harmless, so there's not really any downsides to doing it, except for the downsides that I listed earlier. Hmm, wait a second. It's just one of those things that we tend to fight against ourselves, and we tend to tell ourselves we're good people, and that we don't actually have this deep-rooted craving for, but I'm a little bit of a pessimist, and I do believe that we all have this, no matter what we tell ourselves. But hey, again, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot, so don't listen to me. Hey, you know what's worse than hacking? Yeah, you fuck it. Play being good at the game. That's worse than hacking. And the final and probably most important argument from any side is if they are fun. And yes, they they absolutely are. Something is so satisfying about kicking a demon's face in in Doom. It is the best feeling you can get in that game. That or putting a bomb down an enemy's throat and watching it explode. It's just fun. It's mindless, dumb fun. That, that's what that's what it is. It's just violence and it's fun. And video games, that's what they are supposed to achieve. They're games after all. Generally, they're not there to inform or teach or educate or show you what your actions can do. They're just there to be fun. Usually, not all the time. There's some really good games that are really good teachers. Like Mario Paint. Personally, most if not all of my favorite games feature at least some violence in them. And honestly, once you play those rated end games, it's just hard to go back to playing Super Smash Bros. Which is actually really fun and I kind of want to play that now. But you get what I'm saying. To simply put it, violent video games are just more fun. Whether it's Doom, GTA, Team Fortress, or even Smash Bros. Because thinking about it, it's just you're just beating the tar to people. It's still violence, you know? You're just not blood and gore. You're just, you're just beating the tar to people. So, in conclusion, I think that violence in the mass media is both bad, but so incredibly fun that kind of overrides the problems presented by it? Maybe? Sort of like a do-as-I-say-not-what-I-do type of thing? But this is one of those things that there's no one set answer for, and I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about it. Generally, I find out when I say my opinions on things like this, I tend to be wrong, so I urge you to think for yourself, and please, do it in an unbiased manner. Just presumably, as a gamer, take yourself out of the equation and use your rational and logical side to think about it from a non-biased perspective. That just make scrolling through the comments that much less painful. I don't know. That or, that or just call me fat. I don't, I don't care. I hope you enjoyed this slightly crazed ramble, and I'll see you around, hopefully. I mean, I, I really need the, I really need the attention, guys. I, I really need the attention, guys. I, I, don't, I don't know how to do that. I just, I just need it. As always, have a swell rest of your day, and peace out.